Open your Bible to John chapter 8. Okay. John chapter 8. Uh, it's, this whole chapter is a story. It's, it's the title in our PTL Bible is mm -hmm. The Woman Caught in Adultery. Would you start reading that? Sure. Then everyone went to his own house, but Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning, he returned to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman caught in adultery. When they had put her in the middle, they said to him, Teacher, this woman, who was, caught in the this woman was caught in the very act of adultery. Now Moses in the law commanded us to stone such, but what do you say? They said this, testing him, that they might have something of which to accuse him. Mm -hmm. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger as though he did not hear them. So when they continued asking him, he stood up and said to them, Wait a minute. If this was in the United States of America, what would we do right now? We would get the woman fired from her job. The press would go on and have every newspaper blasting, this awful woman was caught in the act of adultery. But not just that. All the men that she had had relationships would That's lose true. their jobs. Boy. They would lose their ministries. They would lose their church. They would lose their business. Because we don't have the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have law. Right. We have a new gospel, the gospel of man, the gospel of we're going to fix it. So what did Jesus do in the midst of this? Read, go on. I'm going to go back one line again. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger as though he did not hear. Here's them. what some people, some teachers actually <laughs> teach, that Jesus at this point was writing the names of her lovers, which happened to be those men pointing the finger at her. That's what some scholars say. That's what they Nobody think. Nobody really knows for sure, but that's what some scholars say. But here's say. what happened after they read what he wrote. So when they continued asking him, he stood up and said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. And here's the painting. This Jesus, our Savior, and here's the woman. And he's got the stone in his hand. Oh. And what does he say? You, without sin, cast the first stone. That's right. right. And that's what's happening in our country today. This yes. is what God's been dealing with me. We've got to get back to the gospel of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. What is the gospel of Jesus Christ? It's the grace. Yes. I didn't right. plan to start preaching this nope. early in the show. Yeah, we can't help ourselves. But, through. We got a lot in us. But Jesus, go on and read a little bit more. What? Just let Jesus teach us. Right. Go on. Uh, yeah. Now remember, he had just said, "You without sin cast the first stone." Depending on what translation you're using. Again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. He did it twice. Being convicted by their conscience, those who heard it went out one by one beginning with the eldest, even to the last, Jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had stood up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, woman, where are your accusers? Did no one condemn you? She said, no one, Lord. Jesus said to her, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Mm. It is so powerful. What's going on today? Here's the secret. What does the word say? Amen. We are not to condemn. We are not to judge. Right. What do we do? If we don't get back to the gospel, we are going to bite and devour one another. Right. 
God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross that we would have eternal life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let, me, let me read this here. Here is what the church is to do. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore. Can you say restore? Restore. Restore. Yes. He didn't say destroy. Right. He said, you restore. Yes. How do you restore? In the spirit. In the spirit of meekness. He didn't say go on TV with bullhorns and say, <laughs> this is a sinner. Oh, man. You know, people hate the church today. They hate religion. Right. God is saying, you restore. And we're to restore one another. We're to love one another. And it. It is so important that we do. Yes, amen. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaches in all good things. Be not deceived. Mm. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. That's true. It's the word. And the word. The word goes on to say, let us do good. Yes. Unto all men. Amen. But what's happening in the world right now? People are biting and devouring. We're destroying one another. And we're saying, oh, we're righteous. That's called piousness. Mm. God says, humbly restore Amen. in the spirit of meekness. So good. So it's time 